three, two, one. Hey guys, it's Challenger. It's time for another round of the golf club. Today we're going to be playing the second round of the amateur season. This will be at the, I think they they pronounce it Atacama. What a name, huh? Uh, Wit Stable Trophy, anyway. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, not a bad looking course here out in the desert. Um, today I'm going to tell you how I look at this, uh, this wind here. Uh, I consider the wind pointer to be basically a uh, depiction of a vector. And when I, when I adjust with fade or draw, what I'm doing is I'm using the left-right component of that vector. And by looking at that 7 miles an hour, I assume that the cross vector, left to right, is between 2 and 3 miles an hour. So I might just put in just a dash of fade. Typically, if I'm dialing it in a uh, 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 left to right wind, <clears throat> I, would, uh, I would put in more, like the full component force. If it was a direct uh, westerly wind, a wind coming from the west, at seven miles an hour at 90 degrees, I would dial that in to about seven, which would be about right there. Um, <clears throat> but because it's coming from the east, I don't feel like I need to use every bit of it because I'm a right-hand golfer. If you get too close to that edge and you, you hit it off center just a tad bit, it becomes a slice. So you want to be careful that way. Uh, now it is more or less 90 degrees, so we'll get closer to it, use the driver, and here we go. And that held it straight. Not bad, eh? Alright. <clears throat> This looks like I can't get there from here. Uh, I'm going to say the component's about five. And here we go. And it rolls past the green, even though it was well beyond the reach of my club. How do you like that? <laughs> That's golf for you. Ah, there's a birdie. This course uh, looks like it's real easy. In fact, I have actually hit a uh, 15 under on this course. But with the wind like it is, it makes it a lot more difficult, I can tell you that. I'll try to keep that closer to the center there. When I say center, I mean between those two red lines. It's not quite a, a wind directly from the west. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have to make that adjustment. And here we go.
I mean, it hit that edge and it just came to a halt. Green looks fairly flat, but the grass is breaking to the right pretty hard. Ooh, just a little bit harder than I thought. So we didn't pick up any shots there. That is certainly within reach of my club here. problem is here the wind is going to be pushing into our face slightly but because it's five feet under the the ball here under my feet I think I'm actually going to be able to carry it about 163 um, with the wind pushing back toward me that might only be 160 you know if I'm if I'm lucky <clears throat> I'm gonna put just a tad bit of uh, higher loft on it to allow the wind to push a little harder so the ball can slow down and not roll to the back of the green. This, for some reason, on this course, that doesn't always work for me. But it carried it that time. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know about this. Go with the left hand side there. Let's try that. Oof. Just a little off. <laughs> Almost doesn't count in golf. That's for sure. Yeah, nice little ridge here for it to rest against. <laughs> Man. Okay. Now how am I going to get that to stop right there? I have to put a little break into it, I think. And further to the left because of the lie of the ball. Yeah, let's give it a shot right there. Walk on up there. There you go. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> even being that close, it's not a sure thing, I can tell you. Look at that. Now, how did that go straight? <laughs> well, at least I didn't lose a shot, right? A long ways to go to a victory. Now, I like to be in the top three, but you don't have to in order to stay in the tournament. It's just if you want to walk away with a trophy, Top three for sure. And um, I try to stay top three just so that I can uh, feel good about moving on. Now, 
Now, I have played this amateur season uh, previously and ended up, I think it was 14th place, which isn't good, and still been number one coming out of the second round. You can't depend on that, though, so you got to do the best you can, and uh, therefore, place in the top three anyway. Now, you know, that looks like, see, that 75 ain't going to get it. That looks like 95 yards is going to be well beyond 100. <clears throat> Especially with that wind changing like that. Um, I'm going to do like that right there. And if I shoot past the green, I couldn't have stopped it. Oh, but I didn't do it, though, did I? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. And it's eight feet above me there. I'm not feeling good about this, I can tell you. Yeah, at least it didn't go too far. How could I miss that? All right, we're back to even four. Mm -mm -mm. I hate seeing those red marks on the card. That should march us right up on that hole. There's a birdie. Somebody's finished at four under at the 18th, so that's our target. Now, if we can get up into here and pitch up on there, I'll be happy. That is a long ways down there, though.
didn't quite get to where I wanted to be. Uh, it looks like that's going to be all right, though. What was I wrong? <laughs> Too hard. I'm like asleep at the wheel here or something, huh? Well, at least it didn't get to be too expensive. All right. The teaser this week was a hole in one. This is that hole. Unfortunately, that was practice. And I mean, that was practice. Well, that hit exactly the wrong spot. <laughs> oh, this would be a miracle if it goes in that hole. Especially when I don't give it enough power. <laughs> it would have done it, man. It would have made it. Oh well. That was the furthest thing from a hole in one you can get. Don't get me wrong. I still love this game. This game is awesome. As far as golf goes, it's the best one. I played that Tiger Woods thing. No thank you. I kind of wish the clubs were just a tad bit more forgiving in this course, in this game, but I can deal with it like it is. <clears throat> and, um, and I think it's more realistic this way. Oh man, this is going to be tough. Okay, the wind, the way the wind's been pushing here lately. This is, this is impractical to even try. Look how narrow that green is. Man, if I can keep it on that green, I'll be happy. I will have done something. I think that's about right. I didn't even get to the greed. Wow. Man. Oh. Man, if I just left that alone, it might have been fine. Only might have been because I'm not sure. I sense no movement at all on this. Like I'm not that I'm not gonna gain anything anymore. That's terrible. Come 
come on. I need three bogeys. I mean, three birdies. What am I saying? Close call. Ooh. Stick, bite. Oh, it'll go back there. Ah. Well, I might have only been happy if it had hit the flag anyway, but here we are. That's what I like to see. Yeah. Why a three wood? That's what I'm asking myself. Why a three wood? Why why can't I go down there and get in that, that hole there, that nice little crater? <laughs> Okay, so this is going to play like 162 yards. We got a little bit of push on it. In case you can't hear that, my neighbor's got a big muscle car rally to go to, and he's got all his friends over. He only lives 300 yards away. Well, they get out on that highway. Whoa, something I did wrong. Okay, we can do this. Oh, not back there. No, that's way too much. Way too much. Nice little pitch. Here we go. Went further than I wanted even, but that's all right. Ooh, this one's got to go. And this is not an easy shot. Getting out of hole. Go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, that's when that gnat got in the way and stuck his whiskers out there to stop me. Wow, that hurt. I don't see anything that can hurt, hurt us or slow us down any. Let's go. Alright, that sand trap in the front could be a problem unless you get it past there, which we're going to. That ought to be just about perfect. Now, perfect doesn't exist in golf either. That's not a word you want to use, that's for sure. Ah. 
Man, I mean, it doesn't matter how I dial it in, it just rolls forever after it lands. I like right there. Which still wasn't enough, of course. Of course. The problem is I'm not getting close to the hole on the second shot, which is what I need. <clears throat> on a par four, you just got to. Now we got three people at three under. There we go. I'm going to try to get all the way up there. It's not going to happen, but I'm going to try. And look at that. Which I guess is a good thing. I need the birdie. Stop! Right there. There you go. I would have liked the eagle, but hey. I'll take that. This is a tough shot to try to get it to stop. Hmm. I probably looked at that shot on this course about 20 times and have never hit that flag. Many times as I want to, hadn't done it yet. And I am not using a seven right here. Let's go with six. Six yards carry. And it's still gonna go to the right. Not enough. Should have brought it back even more. Man, can you imagine if I'd gone with that long distance <laughs> stick they'd handed me? Whew. Oh, and I need this too. This is not easy. Oh. Oh. This is going to chew up my, my birdies. Is the four shot. Uh. No, ah. lost two shots right there. That's a double bogey. Mm. Oh man. Uh. I don't think even playing perfect golf, I could. I mean, even if there was such a thing, would I be able to get those shots back? 
Not on this course. Wow. But that's the thing about golf. I mean, you you have to expect that there's going to be disappointment somewhere down the line. And we are in the tougher season now, so just expect it to be like that. And let's put some brake on. Go for it. Come on, stay close. Ah, don't go back there. Come on. Oh, yes. <sighs> oh, man. It's like sweating out the plague. It's like it's freshman calculus is what it's like. Wow. Oh, now here's a shot for you. Try to get in between there. Stay on the fairway. Here we go. Made it somehow. All right, I can make 120 yards, 120 yards, no problem. But that is right there in that troubled region of this green. And it's four yards higher. So the wind is going to have to push to help us just a tad bit. And I don't like lowering the loft any because then I don't have any break on that green and these things are slick. Slick as our snot on a tin roof. <laughs> uh, sorry I had to say it like that, but it's just the way I see it. Oh, no, no, put the brake on. <sighs> Just too hard. Yep, there went my one shot advantage. Two shot advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fighting off the flu. What are you going to do? Oh man, 11th. Well, I, <laughs> I may get to practice what I preach about that 14 under, huh? Yeah, well, it didn't go in the water, thankfully.
Yeah. The one green. <laughs> Where it's not slick. Wow. Didn't gain anything. Didn't lose anything either. Well, I can get back into maybe seventh place if I get a birdie here. But that's going to be doing something. Now, can I do this? Can I keep it in the fairway? I guess it's worth the risk since uh, we're dying here. Whoops. Man, the rough is better than water. Oh, that's a deep rough too. See what I mean about being slick? <laughs> Man. Except when you need it to be. Ugh. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, that <laughs> relatively short putt there... Not going to be an automatic thing. <laughs> oh, thank goodness that's over with. That was almost pure torture. That's respectable, they say. I don't think so. 11th place. Wow. I get 70 points for that. Uh, okay. For next time, that guy's in my gun sights. <laughs> anyway, if you've liked what you've seen, had fun, as much fun as I've had, come back and see us. Give us a like, subscribe. See you next time.